costume here. Is it straight? Should I start already? Yeah, sure. All righty. Whenever you're ready. Uh, Bill, I would love to have your assistance with the time because and you know, and <laughs> most people here know that I'm learning how to fight time and <laughs> shut my mouth. So okay. I be, so yeah. When do you want me to uh, give you a heads up? Um, when I start, uh, when I go to the game itself. Okay. I'm just gonna start the introduction now. Okay. So when I get to the game, you can, you can have every minute that passes, you can say minute and okay. I'll, I'll know. Okay, got thank it. you. So can I, can I start? Yep, whenever you're ready. So since I came to the US in 2016, I realized how troublesome my long name is. Robson Martins de Araújo Jr. Where Robson Martins de Araújo is my father's name. And Junior, it's only me, my identity. That's why I go by Junior. Uh, so I was thinking that my name could have easily been Robson Video Games Learning Junior since these are two are core elements of my life since I was born. As such, I have learned lots of things through video game play. For me, Super Mario is not just a game character. He's a lifelong learning partner. Understanding the complexity of life and facing this obstacle have become less daunting if I approach my problems through the lens of games. For instance, even discussing metaphysics or evolution is easier through gaming analogies. I have some superpowers, like a very wild and creative brain and passion for education and learning, but I have some handicaps too that come along, like a, a couple of disabilities to unlock the creativity and like potential wild brain and my big mouth. So creativity, ideas with a big mouth is not a very safe formula for me. So that's why I created this game to welcome you into my world while I try to show you by examples how video games have helped me to become the person who I am and how they are inspiring me to pursue my PhD in educational technology to help more people learn just like I have learned these 21st century skills. I'm opening the game now. Oops, oops, oops. So, uh, since Mario has been my lifelong partner uh, for learning, I inspired myself in one of his games. And then uh, I'm gonna be showing you how my life has been through some photos that I'm gonna be immersing myself in. This is me uh, with three years old in 1990 and my big brother, Reggie. And in this very day, I had a, a daydream in which I saw uh, a very long stairways, like steps with a place in the top. And in this place, I somehow knew that I would be there one day with white beard and I would be writing my first book about how to teach things with video games. That's crazy. I was just three years and all these details are very clear to me. Uh, so it seems I got a white key in that letter in the beginning and uh, I still need to find three other keys. So we have three spaces here, three places of my life. They are chronologically organized. I'm gonna start here when, when I was one year old. And this room is about how video games allowed me to prepare, uh, become a 21st century ready learner. And now a scholar there is gonna be attempting to impact the world by sharing this knowledge of how video games and affordance of video games can help us. So I've always been blessed by having video games and a family that supported me with like time management and uh, screenplay and our responsibilities at school. So uh, I've always also heard these sentences like education is the most important asset that we have. Nobody can ever uh, steal that from us. And that also if we have good grades, we are eventually gonna be able to study for free 
with high quality. So that was true in my life and that's thanks for games. So please everyone, keep in school because school is the best thing that we can do for one's life. Now this is the photo of the graduation of kindergarten. And in this, oops, oops, sorry. Uh, oh, oh, problems. <laughs> I'm gonna go back again. It's hard to play and uh, to play and talk at the same time, right? So let me get the key here real quick. And I'm gonna be flying because I, I foresaw that I would be having problems. So let me go back to that memory, activate the panel here. I don't need to get the blue key again. So I want you to see this, uh, green room which is my overachieving self when i was a kid like i always was put to present uh, and be a part of plays in school and i didn't choose that but somehow becoming an overachiever when i was young helped me uh, be good at doing things and uh, stuff for instance uh, i before coming to lehigh was able to uh, create uh, a virtual school for this uh, language school that I was working with. So uh, we were able to work and develop an entire system that would be very useful now with COVID-19, but nobody was able to appreciate back in the day. That's a pity. Now I'm here, Lehigh, with you guys. Uh, let me go to the next room. Oh, again, so I'm gonna stop playing the game <laughs> because I'm pressing a button that I didn't know that was going to be triggering things. I'm going to go straight to the last room, which is the how video games can have and can help uh, us uh, develop lifelong skills. And I don't know why I did wrong to be activating the last thing of the presentation all the time. But anyways, let's try. I guess I, I cannot be jumping that I, anyways. So this is the richest room. So uh, just like video games, I have been involving leveling up in life and uh, video games can teach us per perseverance, greed, curiosity. And also like with the evolution of maps in games from linear maps to open world maps, like in the games Legend of Zelda, for instance, we can also develop our spatial thinking. I learned English, for instance, by playing RPGs like Final Fantasy VII and Breath of Fire III. Other kinds of games can teach other 21st century skills, just like collaboration, social skills, communication, community building, numeracy, and literacy. And as an example of that, in 2006, I learned French by myself because I was playing my first online game, which was called Gunbound. Uh, I played every day with some French friends, but they didn't speak, I didn't speak French, we only speak English. So I decided to learn French so I could communicate with them. That's thanks to games. The games gave me the motivation so I could learn a new language to communicate and be more integrated in the global community. Games also have inspired my work here at Lehigh because I realized games allow us to go further and go beyond the mastery by itself. Uh, as an example, some, some people online, they create mashups um, mixing original games with other genres of games. They create their own versions of the games. Mm -hmm. And uh, like that, they can go beyond, not just playing a game in, in completely, but they finish and they want to create their own interpretation of the games. As such, I developed the game Tangren. So it's an extended reality game that I used to teach my students here at Lehigh. So they can have this mindset and use games for developing their professional beings and uh, also learning how to, yes, I I have a bug here. Anyways, I'm gonna go straight to the, to the last place now, which is uh, that area of my daydream where I would be writing a book about video games. I haven't been able to get there yet because I'm still uh, climbing those stairs. However, uh, all these experiences are going to be part of my, my, my book because they are uh, important stories that I cultivate and create with everyone. For instance, this is Regina. 
Regina is our virtual reality tutor that we use in our games. And uh, I can visit her for the first time in this game of my life because I am in the game today. Uh, I had a problem like bugs and I couldn't be in this room today with Jose, our um, other virtual tutor. But at least I brought him here through like pictures to show that this kind of immersive environment is the kind of environment that I am developing with Dr. Bozing and our research group. So we can show people the affordances of video games. To fi finalize, uh, this is a monument I created trying to replicate soldiers and sailors in Island Town, but I didn't have like a similar one. So I found this monument in a free repository and I called the monument, the explorer and the key, because we are all explorers in life looking for the key to solve our problems or to create impact. And my impact, my key, has been video games and all the potential they can unlock. Now, if we ask about the book, you guys have seen all the time, well, because of my bugs, what the name of the book is gonna be. It's gonna be mostly like life is a, is a game, life as a game, life in a game. A collection of all these stories that I have been living through I was, since I was born until this moment here in Lehigh. And I am very thankful to all of you for listening to me, being patient, patient with the bugs and time. But I'm sure this is also going to be a chapter of this book that I intend to be releasing and writing right after I get my PhD degree. Thank you so much. Thank you, Junior.